Hello pool players, Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. Today I want to show you 27 break shots. Many of you know that I've been working on my nine ball break where I'm trying to draw the cue ball two cushions to have shape on the opening shot. Now what I put together here um, are just shots on the one ball, just trying to keep it simple. I shot probably 150 times today and a lot of times the one ball went in the side pocket and I had shape on the either the two or the three, whatever was next. But the break is working really, really well. I've worked a lot at it. Can't tell you how many hours, but at least 500 break shots uh, to try to experiment with different spins, you know, different uh, areas to draw the cue ball uh, to. But I've come up with this right here and I just wanted to share it with you so you guys can see it. Um, I want to say this though, if you're not proficient at drawing the cue ball with speed to a specific point, I would not recommend doing this because you will scratch in the side pocket quite often as well as the top corner where I'm shooting from. Uh, so it does require uh, a very good aim and also speed has a lot to do with it and spin. You don't want to overdraw the shot. If I overdraw it, you can see that the cue ball is tracking towards that side pocket. I have scratched um, as a result of that. So I'm just letting you guys know, just you're gonna have to practice this if you wanna give this a try, and you're gonna have to get your, uh, your, you know, your brake speed figured out. Now, that being said, I've only shot on my Olhausen eight foot table here, and I want to take this to the billiard hall and try this out on the seven foot diamond as well as the nine foot diamond table. Uh, I'm gonna be entering some tournaments here coming up and most of them are on the seven footers. I predict that this break will work pretty well on the seven footer, but it's just gonna you know, require some uh, experimenting and I think it's gonna work, like I say, very well. I'm having very good success. You can see here, I've, I've got a, a real good look on the one most of the time. Here's the greatest part about this break though. I'm using an AccuRack by Outsville, and I'm pocketing the wing ball. Um, and today, for example, out of probably 150 breaks, I think I missed the wing ball maybe five times. So it goes in very regularly. Um, and if it does go in, and if I don't have a, sh a shot, an opening shot, I can play safe from there so I can stay in control of the table. Um, but this is just something that I wanted to share with you guys. I know that many of you um, are into the draw break. I originally started out drawing at one cushion, just straight up to the uh, short rail, uh, but that was not as good as this one here. There just seems to be a better look at the opening shot when I go two cushions. So once again, just wanted to share it with you. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, leave them in the comments section. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, you know, it's going to require some, you know, some work, uh, but well, I'll tell you what, I'm like a pit bull. When I get into something, I, <laughs> I try to figure it out. So there's only one other person that's been working on the break more than I, that I think that I can think of, and that's Nate Tam. So many of you guys might know him. He's got a YouTube channel. You can go check it out. Um, but yeah, he, he's worked a lot on his break and we've talked a lot as well, but I love this break. Just wanted to share it with you, you know, and <laughs> I think it's going to work well for me. I hope you guys that adopt it, you know, it works well for you as, as well. And just stay in touch. Let me know what you think. At this point, I'm just going to let it run out. So enjoy. And until next time, like I always say, keep on practicing.